right, listen, I know half of you clicking on this video already got your hands on the keyboard, about to use the home row 90 words per minute like your life depends on it. But hey, listen, we all got opinions. They can differ vastly, and that's okay. It's okay to be wrong about Hollow Bow. I'll forgive you. All jokes aside, this is one of my favorite biomes in the game. There's a bunch of reasons why, some of which I've already gone into in biomes of DRG. My coverage in that video brought on a lot of responses, most of which sharing a distaste for Hollow Bow. So I'm going to go through my thoughts in more detail, explain why I like this biome, and definitively answer if it's the worst in the game. I might end up retreading some ground here, which is pretty much inevitable since obviously I've already talked about it. Without further ado, let's let's hop into the, the video that I made. Isn't that cool? Look, here's a title card. Hollow Bow is undeniably one of the most unique planetary regions on Hoxies, containing massive winding hollowed out trees. Typically you'd be mining around some rock and maybe some stone, here that isn't the case. It's more like logs and wood, I guess. The terrain is the nicest plant life you'll interact with though, as another species of red pokey vines has set out to claim the branches of the bow. They're spread throughout pretty much the whole biome, and they get pretty defensive occasionally, but most of the time they kind of just hide away if you hit them. Maybe they're feeding off of the big old hollow trees? I don't really know. I'm not a treeologist. What is it where you, like, study trees? Person who studies trees. Arborist, or a tree surgeon. Yeah, no, that's definitely not in my degree. Uh, I think my degree's a little less useful than that one. Deep Rock's got a lot of good color palettes. Uh, some of the highlights are Crystalline Caverns, those purpley blues, those are good. Azure Wield, also purpley blues. I may be a fan of purples and blues, specifically together. Half of my thumbnails are not bad, trust me. Aside from that, you got Radioactive Exclusion Zone, which looks pretty unique, and obviously, Hollow Bow, the, the one we're talking about here. I love the contrast of the warmer wooden colors and red vines against the cold blue fog in the darker parts of the caves. It creates such a unique atmosphere that really gets your mind running. Like, how would this place feel to stand in? Would it be cold or warm or dry or wet? Would it smell bad? It has to smell bad, right? I mean, it's like a giant rotten tree that, that would be pretty stinky. The color palette is just one piece of this biome's puzzle, though. Another really great part of this place is the sound design. It's seriously some of the best I've ever heard in a video game. Just listen to this clip of the sound effects turned all the way up. You can hear so much detail that they put into it, the twisting and creaking of massive ancient trees echoing throughout hollow caverns. The sounds of vines chewing through the roots even come through. It's so weird and unsettling. Outside of the ambient noise, the vines themselves make this weird slithering sound when you scare them off. You just kind of feel like you're always being watched or maybe felt when you're in this place. and. That's not, a, it's a weird feeling. It doesn't, it's kind of creepy. Kind of freaks you out if you think about it too much. Okay, I hear you though. Ambiance is in everything, and Hollow Bow is definitely more than just style, trust me. The caves are honestly some of the most unique in the game just due to the shapes that come with it. When I say the phrase cave shapes, I'm talking about the bloated vines and the twisting roots and knots. Other biomes have their own cave shapes as well, like Crystalline Caverns has those crystal structures. Dense biozone has coral, those weird Stonehenge looking things and sandblasted. These are pretty much here just to make each biome feel more distinct. Instead of just a color change or a palette swap, they also have physical shapes that make them distinct. Going back to Hollow Bow, it really uses these cave shapes a lot. For example, look at a point extraction in any biome and compare it to Hollow Bow. It's pretty significant how unique its generation is. And one of my other favorite examples is mining expedition missions, particularly the higher complexity ones. Some rooms have you walking across giant root bridges that are pretty precariously placed. Um, if you fell, you'd probably die. But that's what's so sick about it. I'm like a puny little bug. So far I've been talking about what I like about the biome, but I haven't really addressed the popular complaints about it. So let's dig into that. Let's switch on over. The most popular complaint by far about Hollow Bow 
is that everything hurts you. And yeah, there's a lot of pokey stuff, stabby stuff. It's a fair complaint, and I would say this biome is pretty packed with a lot of sources of chip damage compared to the rest. I don't think these hazards are the worst in the game by any means. The most frustrating hazards by far are the ones that slow you down. Being able to move freely is super important, and when something like a blizzard or an earthquake slows you down out of nowhere, it will hinder your ability to survive pretty significantly, and in a way that's out of your control. I guess you could say if you have dash, you can kind of avoid hazards while in a blizzard or whatever, but I mean, you shouldn't have to have dash equipped to do that. In Hollow Bow, the only thing that could really slow you down is the goose axe, but they're pretty rarely in the way, and it never really happens where I'm like, oh shit, now I'm stuck in a goose axe. Which is a pretty stark contrast from the goo and fungus bogs. I'll still stand by it, fungus bogs is the worst. It's like the sewer level of this game. There is goo everywhere, and it doesn't just like slow you down a little bit, like reduce your speed by like 10%. It is like half of your speed. You walk so slow in this stuff, it's absurd. And then if you add on those fields of mushrooms that just like fart on you and how slimy, soggy, and dim this place is, I just don't want to be here. Like this is the place where you discover a new disease. Back to Hollow Bow, you can just avoid the thorns pretty easily. The vines, you can just shoot them out of the way and they go away. I mean, they even got massive acorns if you're feeling snacky. The other common complaint is that it's annoying to traverse, which probably stems from the high concentration of cave shapes and vines, but Honestly, I think Hollow Bow does a great job altering the exploration in a mission. For the actual rooms, yeah, it's more difficult to traverse sometimes, but I'd argue that's a big part of Deep Rock, trying to traverse difficult terrain in an efficient way regardless of the biome. Here in particular, the terrain is really fun to figure out. Very rarely does a cave make me just stop in my tracks and think, how the hell am I going to get through this? But if it does, it's probably here. And the best part is it doesn't make it more difficult by putting some sludge on the ground that makes me move slower. Can you tell I don't like the goo? Hollow Bow expands on the terrain generation and hazards in a standout way that displays why DRG does procedural missions right. There's new things to avoid, new ways to traverse around them, and it has an ambiance that sits right where it should as a region on Hoxies. Creepy in the best way possible. This video is kind of out of my typical wheelhouse, but I've been sick the past few days and I thought it'd be a nice short detour while I work on a bigger video that's coming soon. If you want to see more from me, consider throwing a couple bucks my way on Patreon. You get access to my videos ad-free and a day early, and you get to have your name at the end of my videos. Go follow me on Twitter at SNIS underscore. I'll do some teasers for videos occasionally, ask questions, do some polls, you know, the typical stuff. Also the stupid stuff that comes with having Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Rock and Stone.